Hi everyone. For this session, we will discuss new proof. See here. The number of circular permutations of n dissimilar things taken all at a time is n minus one factorial. Okay. See here proof. See here circular permutation means the arrangements of elements or numbers around a circle. is called as circular permutations okay so see here let us consider three elements let a comma b and c are three elements so you know that linear permutation is the arrangements of numbers or elements in a line is called linear permutation so see here first linear permutation So what are the arrangements in linear permutations? See here, A B C arrangement, A C B arrangement. Next, B A C arrangement. Next, B C A arrangement. Next, C A B arrangement, C B arrangement. So total six arrangements are possible in linear permutations. So total six ways in linear permutations. Next is circular permutation. Circular permutation. So see here, total six ways are possible. So here we have to consider six circles. This is circle one. Next circle two. Next third circle. Fourth one. Fifth. And six thirty. See, I am writing the arrangements. So first arrangement is A B C. This is A and this is B. This is C. The elements around A circle is called circular permutation. Next one A C B arrangement. So this is A and this is C and this is B. So this is first one, second one, next third arrangement. B A C. So this is B and this is A and this is C. Next fourth arrangement. So what is that? B C A. This is B and this is C and this is A. Next one C A B. This is C and this is A and this is B. This is fifth arrangement. So last arrangement is what? C B A. This is C and this is B. This is A. So you know that the elements or numbers around a circle is called all circular permutation, and there is no starting point in circular permutation. So once you see the first element, A B C, so we can start from either A or B or C. We can start from any way. Okay. So there is no starting place in circular permutations. So once you observe the first element, if you start with A. Then the arrangement is what A B C. Or you can start with B also. Then the arrangement is B C A. Or you can start with T also. The T C A B arrangement. So once you observe here A B C arrangement, next B C A arrangement, B C A arrangement. So one, next to four. Next one C A B arrangement, fifth one. So these three arrangements are identical in circular permutation. So these three arrangements is equal to one circular permutation. Okay. So this is one circular permutation. Circular permutation. Okay. Next one. For the other second arrangement A C B. So I am writing here A C B. Or you can start with C also. That is C B A. C B A. Or you can start from B also. That is B A C. 
so these three linear permutations is equal to one circular permutation one circular permutation okay see here a c b next c b a c b a next b a c these three are elements and these three elements are equal circular permutation so total number of circular permutations are two so therefore the number of circular permutation c p is equal to two this can be written as three minus one factorial also okay. so clearly if the objects are three then the number of circular permutations are three minus one factorial if the objects are four then the number of circular permutations are four minus one factorial if the objects are n means if n things are there then number of circular permutations are n minus 1 factorial so this is the proof of number of circular permutations of n decimal things taken all at a time okay for next session we will discuss more proofs